Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you on how to use document file generator. So the first thing you want to do is open a new Google spreadsheet. From here, you want to head over to extensions, go to add-ons, click on get add-ons, and search up document file generator. And you should see it right here. Once you click on install, you'll ask for permission. And once you click on allow, you want to click out of here, head back to extensions, and you should see it right here. Once we click on start, a small window should pop up. This is where you will be modifying everything for your generator. And as you can see over here, I already edited my Google Sheet. And as you can see, I made a school scenario. So over here, I made fields. So we got first names, last names, grade you can also create your own fields which i'm going to do right now i'm going to put school and i'm going to write high school for every one of the students so as you can see we got the first names down over here on each column the last names over here we got their grades and which school they go to and once we are done changing up our google sheet we can get started so over here the first thing we should see is select a template type so we got Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slides. I want my template to be Google Docs. So I'm going to click on Google Docs. And over here, it says select a template. So if you already have created a template, you can select it over here. You can also search it up. If you have a lot of files or you can't find it, you can search it up. Or you can click on new to create a new template, which I'm going to do right now. So once I click on that, it will take me to a new page and I already got my, and it already put the fields for me. So now I can write my message, for example, hello, first and last name. So these will be replaced once they are done being generated by the generator. So we got hello, first name and the last name. And we can write a small message like, you can also add an image or any other stuff, but I'll keep it like this for now. And once we head back, as you can see, it already selected the file for us. And if you want to change it again, you can click on the URL right here, which will take you back to your template. Over here, we got generate file and it'll, and it'll ask for a file type. You can, gener you can make the generate a file a Google Doc a PDF or a Microsoft Word. I'm going to make it a PDF. And we also got the name. So these are, this will be the name of the file that will be generated. So we got file, first, last, grade, and stuff like that. So these will be replaced too. So for example, if I'm generating John Elliott's, the file name will be file John Elliott 96. So these will be replaced too. So I'll keep it like that. You can also it will you can also turn this on, which will automatically add an increment to it. So like numbers over here, you can you'll select a folder of where you want your files to be generated in. And if you don't have a folder, you can click on create a new folder, which will take you to your Google Drive where you can create your own folder. But I already did. So I, so my folder was named grades. So as you can see, I searched it up and it popped up right here and I selected it. And after you are done modifying everything, now you can click on generate files. And once you do that, a small window should pop up, which will show you the progress. So once it's done generating, it should say all files generated. So now we can click on close. And as you can see, a, f a file status popped up and the create a file link popped up so as you can see all of the files were successfully created and as you can see the name the name that we put right here was actually replaced so we got file john elliot 96 one pdf and as you can see it goes down in numbers and now if we go to our google drive and click on grades as you can see, 
they were generated into this file, which I chose right here. Now, if we click on it, as you can see, it says, Hello, Allison Gr Green. We got your test scores, 56 from high school. And if you look at the other ones, the fields got replaced by the first and last names, and they're all different. 